If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to the finale of Single Mom Life Twisted Fate. Can you guys believe it's been 50 episodes? That is insane. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Like I always say, we are not saying goodbye to this family, so don't be sad. Anything that comes to an end just means a new beginning. So obviously there'll be a little break in between, but there'll be a new series, and uh, I don't think it'll be based on single moms because, you know, it's been two seasons of that, <laughs> but uh, we will see this family again, and I'm so excited. So, you guys, today, Riley and Leo are getting married. You know what I realized when I went into their save? They were not even engaged. Didn't I get them engaged? Was I just imagining that? I literally, in my head for the longest time, thought they were engaged. Did you guys think they were engaged? Because I did. <laughs> I don't know why, but they were not. So I did that and they are getting married today. So Riley is in her wedding dress. She went quite simple, casual, because you know, this is her second time getting married to the same guy. Um, because if you guys know the whole story, <laughs> um, so it's happening again. And you guys, so I went into their save. And, oh, by the way, we're not in an actual wedding event, which is kind of really making me mad. But I wanted it to be on this lot. I was determined and it will not let me. And I was just like, you know what, whatever, we're just bringing everyone here. Well, the main people, we're not bringing like the toddlers here and stuff because they're just going to cry. Um, <laughs> so we have like the main family. We don't have everyone. We have Alexa. We have um, Adeline. We have Tina. We have Kinsley. We have Elsa. And then we have Zaylee somewhere. Where did she go? I hope she didn't leave. If she did, you know what? She's a kid. She's just going to run off and I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure she's still here though. But yeah, so they're getting married and it is exciting. Oh, no, wait, she did leave. Okay, you need to come back. You need to at least be on the lot. <laughs> so she's going to call her and they're all in a group. So there's that. Um, except you're not in the group. You need to be included in this group. Actions, add to group. So Zaylee will be right over. And yeah, it is eight in the morning. And why are we having a wedding at eight in the morning? Well, because my friends... Leo's going to die, and I'm kind of terrified. Um, thank God it's not Riley, because then I would be just traumatized. Um, she has some time. She's 126 years old. Wow. She is just winning the game. <laughs> uh, but Leo, like, I mean, that's pretty sad, too. It's seriously, okay, Tina's over there, but yeah, that's pretty sad, right? So, yeah, I was like, we gotta do this wedding as fast as possible. He could drop dead right now. Who knows? You don't know. <laughs> Like, he could just be like, goodbye. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it could happen. Oh, we got, look at this, a freezer bunny guitar, and she just gave her tips. Okay, Zaylee, are you here? Am I missing it? Did she, is she, has she arrived? No, come on. Oh, wait, is it gonna say she's at school? Because then I may just teleport her here. Oh, um, maybe we'll just do that. See, because I invited her here before school even started. Aww, that's cute. Oh, she's busy right now. Okay, so you need to be here. Um, <laughs> if not, it's fine. You know, she had to be at school. We're going to see her in this episode anyways. We're not, you know what I mean? We're still going to play with them. Um, so don't worry about that. But we're going to summon her. And maybe she will arrive. That would be a fantabulous. Are you coming, Zaylee? But yeah, I don't know why we couldn't have the wedding here and I was determined because it's just beautiful. So like we had to, you know, and here we are not in an actual wedding event, but it's fine. It's okay because someone's going to drop dead anyways. I mean, by the time they all got to the wedding event, he could be dead. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> um, so they're going to get married right now. It's going to be casual. Yeah, no, get married to Leo because I don't know. He could die right now. Like I'm, I'm just, who knows? I mean, you never know, you guys. Are they, I hope they watch. I hope so. I mean, I can't tell. She's jamming. She's ready. Ah! Honestly, I just care about, like, watching them, to be honest, because it's a moment. We've been waiting. Oh, oh, they're so cute, you guys. Together forever. What if he dies? Wait. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to cry. What if he... Because sometimes... He may not die today. Like, it says his time's up, but, like, sometimes they don't die on that day. Um, so you never know. Um, but what if... Oh, by the way, I'm taking pictures if, like, it's, like, 
stopping for a second. <laughs> it's not freezing. Um, but if he dies and then they just got married, like what? That's so terribly sad. Are they like, what if he dies on their wedding day? Like, um, that's really upsetting. So I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, oh, so cute. Okay. So they are officially married. Oh my God. That is amazing. So I guess they kind of watched. I don't know. <laughs> She's coming to congratulate. She's like, congratulations, dad. I love you. <laughs> Are you going to hug her too? No? No? Okay, we're going to hug you. We're going to hug you. Um, They don't like each other, right? I don't think so. We're going to have a deep personal conversation, actually. And then hug lovingly. Wait, don't they, like, legitimately hate each other? Right? Yeah. Let's try to fix that situation. Um, Let's get... Oh, what are you doing? But this is not happening right now. Okay, I didn't do that. <laughs> that was an accident. Wait, why is he grabbing her hands? I'm so confused. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, that didn't happen. Oh no! No! Okay, we have- I don't want to not save, but we have to erase this. Okay, this didn't happen. Because- <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. That that never happened. Okay, just erase it. It didn't happen. Okay, please. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I'm sorry. Oh, everyone witnessed it. No, everyone needs to forget. What are we going to do? Oh god. Okay, maybe it's okay. She's still happy. That was so weird. She's exhausted anyway. She dreamed it. She's, she's daydreaming. That never happened. Um... <laughs> Okay, but actually, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> no, like, the, out of all, all possible worst things that could happen, like, on their wedding day, he just, like, tries to flirt with basically his family. Like, she's been brought into the family. Like, no, no, no. Um, he would never do that. Like, even if he was still the cheating guy that he once was, he still wouldn't do that. That's a little much. <laughs> like, oh my god. Um, tell an engaging story. Just friendly things. Friendly things. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Uh, deep conversation. We love Tina. Um, share photos. So, Zaley, hey, she's dancing away. Let's talk. Knock, knock, joke. And let's do a heartfelt compliment. And brighten day. So, uh, where's Kinsley? I'm sorry. Did you just leave? She's like, I'm out. Gotta go. Um, I think she's actually not here. But it's okay, because we're going to be switching households soon. Um, I want them to stay here for a little bit, though. Um, to kind of, like, catch up. Uh, but we can switch households and then just have... Well, hopefully no one leaves here. Hopefully not. Oh, they just became good friends. That's her grandma. That's adorable. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh... Talk to her a little bit more. I just thought I clicked something else that was all whack. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay. Oh, cat lover. Uh, share a secret. Let's make funny faces. And tell a dramatic story. Oh, come. So, they're gonna do that. And... You need the bathroom. So, <laughs> let's have you go to the bathroom. And, wait. Is this like, okay, it's just for anyone. No gender. He can go in anyone he wants. Go to the bathroom and, or, oh, I, <laughs> I couldn't see Zaley and I was like, is she talking to herself right now? Really? Really? Okay. Um, I really want Kinsley to be here. Should we just invite her again? Okay. Um, invite to current lot. Like, why you leaving? Why you leaving? Stay. Um, okay. You've gone to the bathroom. Come over here. I love how close he is with his kiddos now. It's so nice because there was a day when he was not. Let's dance with her. That's adorable. Look at this over here. How cute. This is actually a really pretty lot for a wedding because like, look at the boats. I want to go in these boats. Can we please go in these boats, please? Like, can that be a thing in the future? Can we have like Island Paradise in The Sims 4? Because I would actually die. In The Sims 4, look like the, the way the graphics are so beautiful to me. Like, imagine riding in this boat all along here. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about that. 
literally heaven. I would be so happy. <laughs> like, I want that to happen. Wait, is Kinsley coming? Are you coming, girl? She's busy. Okay, fine. Um, whatever. We're going to switch to their household anyways. Um, and then we're probably also going to catch up on Adeline because, you know, you got to play with all the households for the finale. Got to do that. Doesn't matter if we're going to see them again or not. We're going to miss them in the time being, you know. So, yeah. And I want to see Rowan. Did I just have her travel? Did I just do that right now? Oh, God. It's fine. <laughs> we'll switch through. Um, why do I, I? I feel like I did that recently, too. Instead of, like, going to switching households, I'm, like, making them travel. Okay, so now we are with uh, Kinsley's household, of course. And apparently she's at work. Okay. <laughs> so, Zaley uh, is doing nothing. So come say goodbye to your grandma because she's going to go home. It's raining anyways. Let's hug her and we're going to go home and then she's over here with her umbrella. She's ready to go. She's like, bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So they're going to head home and get inside. You know, what's the weirdest part of finales. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Why can't you just come home? We're here now. Oh, we didn't bring you. Bring her here. <laughs> so the weirdest part about finales is like, I mean, I can continue with the story, but like I can't add anything. Like we can't do anything that's like a big thing because then like it's over. Like, yeah, we're going to continue it in a new one, but you know what I mean? Like that just seems weird to like start up something else like crazy happens in the story. So then, like, finales are always spent just, like, um, you know, visiting everyone and having, like, heartfelt moments. <laughs> That's what they're always fun. So, I mean, it's cute. It's fun. But it's just, like, different because I can't really, like, you know, plan something big to happen or whatever. Okay, so you, I mean, you could do whatever your heart desires, girl. Um, sh where's Rowan? You're here. Yeah. Talk with her. See, I like finales uh, most of the time to be like all about bonding. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, unless perhaps there's already like drama going on. Like, I mean, this thing with Jax though. Oh my God. Oh, that reminds me. Um, there was a suggestion that when Zaylee is a teenager, um, maybe she goes and live with, lives with her dad and like, you know, catches up with him more first and then like goes and live with him. In the suggestion, basically, uh, it was saying how she she would want to and, you know, just, like, want want to get to know her dad more. However, with the storyline, if you guys don't know Jax's storyline, it is... Mm, his character is not a good one. And I feel like, I mean, realistically, there's obviously, like, dads and moms out there that, like, are not in their children's lives. And that's this storyline. So, like... Okay, Jax, I don't think... Okay, if you guys are a long-time watcher of the series, you know. He is not gonna want Zaylee to live with him. He would want anything but that. <laughs> he would not want responsibility of her, especially as a teenager, her going through these troublemaking phases, her, like, you know what I mean? He would not want to put up with it, and, like, she'd probably end up, like, literally being taught nothing, and so I feel like... Kinsley would not allow that because she's such a good mom. Also, I feel like Zaylee just leaving to go live with her dad after like how he's never been there for her and stuff like that. And like, he's just never showed any sort of care or emotion towards her or love, whatever. They don't have like a bad relationship. They don't hate each other. It's just like, I don't feel like Zaylee would ever want to live with him. And then I don't think she would ever, or he would ever want her to live with him. I feel like that would be kind of a slap in the face to Kinsley in real like realistically i guess um yes let's go or she's coming what am i saying <laughs> um that would kind of be a slap in the face to her because zaylee has obviously lived with her mom her whole life and kinsley's always been there for her she's been the most amazing mom she can be even being a single mom she's always just you know made sure zaley is fed taken care of loved has a roof over her head all this stuff and then for zaley to just kind of leave and go live with the father that never ever supported her bought her anything you know never put clothes on her body never put food on the table for her nothing i feel like that is so 
just sad for Kinsley. Like, you know what I mean? Especially if, like, Jax hasn't shown any sign. <gasps> Jax hasn't showed any sign of changing or anything. Do you see what I'm just seeing right now? But yeah, I'm sure you guys have been watching the storyline throughout. You guys, like, totally get that. And you guys wouldn't really think they would live together anyways. However, I think it would be interesting for a storyline, but I just don't think it makes sense. So I have some other ideas in mind that, I mean, they'll add some things with Jax. So yeah, don't worry. I have some ideas for a, for the new series, but Leo's dead. Um, I mean, good thing I just got them married, but now, like, no, the, <laughs> now we have to go check on her again, because, <laughs> oh my god, oh, I'm so sad, guys, literally, I knew that was gonna happen, that he was gonna drop dead, so good thing I didn't plan an actual wedding and just had them, like, get married at, like, eight in the morning or whatever time it was, oh my god, and now he's gone, what do you mean, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Okay. Um, wow. He he dies on the finale. I mean, like, I thought maybe that would happen, but, like, not that- I didn't know it was gonna happen this early. It's only 5 p.m. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a little later. <laughs> Comedy level 6. Um, you're doing good. Uh, so, go- Oh, look, she's all by herself. Aw, tell a funny story. And then you talk to Adeline. Because you love Adeline. Uh, talk about school. You're actually a little bit hungry. Aww. Rowan's sad. Lost in the family. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't look like that. You're so sweet, guys. I love her a lot. Oh. Okay. So, she's upset. <laughs> I feel bad, but look at her cute face. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think we're going to switch households again in a minute because, like, I want to make sure Riley's okay. I feel very sad for her right now. Like, oh, you're sad. Everyone's sad. Oh, you guys. Let's change households again. We have to go see Riley again. I don't know if there's going to be an urn now because we weren't there when he passed away. Now I'm kind of mad that I switched. Of course it happened when we switched households, right? Like, of course. Probably literally happened right as I switched. Because that's what happens to me. Oh, you guys, she's very sad. And teary eyes. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess, like, obviously now she was married. It still says, you see, now it says deceased spouse. So you know what? That's good. Um, That is good. However, why... Hold on, what am I doing? Why does it say non-committal again? Someone please explain that to me, because we changed that. And now, he has passed away and he is now non-committal again. That's not cool. <laughs> Maybe, you know, it's just something he struggles with. But, like, technically he was supposed to get over that. You know, you know, look at this mess here. <laughs> no, we need to throw that away. So, okay, I kind like i mean like i said i don't mm, i don't want to do anything that like changes the story for a finale however i think she should adopt a cat um because it's a sad time she needs a little snuggle buddy because she's alone look how far she's come though like can we take a moment this girl has lived in a shelter with her twins she was cheated on heartbroken for so long it affected her so bad this storyline was probably one of my favorites that i've ever done one of my favorites there's lots of storylines that i've really enjoyed but this one something about it felt so real to me because i felt like everything she was going through was definitely a process and she went through stages like she she didn't just like snap out of it just because the little moodlets went away for her being like cheated on or whatever I still like continue that story and like it felt so real because I gave her certain traits and stuff so she was always experiencing these certain emotions certain emotions if you guys watch season one of single mom life you guys know what I'm talking about um she had these traits that like really made her struggle and she felt so many different emotions all the time and look at her teary eyes I can't I cannot guys can we just cry with her I'm not even kidding oh 
Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, she just went through so many life stages that like real life people go through. Cause like, I don't always do that in the Sims because obviously the Sims, you can make things realistic, but sometimes it's hard because like Sims like get over things so easily. But with her, with her story, I just really wanted to like bring it to life. And so it was really fun to have her like go through these stages. And then eventually she, oh, the urn, <laughs> she made something for herself. I'm so glad this is here. Um, and she just like she grew so much she's been through so much and i love her i love her character i'm not ready to see her go i'm not ready okay we're gonna be weird and put this right here <laughs> right beside the bed i mean that's not creepy at all so yeah she's just she is definitely out of all the sims i've ever had she's went through the most life stages and her traits have changed you know she what am i doing <laughs> she wasn't always she loves the outdoors, creative, family oriented. She didn't always have these things. She went through some rough times. Things were hard for her. We are going to have you hire a service. We're getting a cat. Um, <laughs> so let's adopt a cat. She literally had no money, you guys. She had two toddlers and had no money. <gasps> Do you see this cat? I want this cat. Do you see it? It's beautiful. We're getting it. Keeping the name too. Peanut, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Peanut. So, Peanut is coming. He's arriving. Or she? Was it a girl or a boy? I don't know. If anyone saw, let me know. I'll probably just see it while editing. <laughs> um, oh, guys. Friendly introduction. Oh my god, what a beautiful cat. I love you. Your coloring is gorgeous. So, yeah, like I was saying, she's just been through so many life stages. She's lived in a shelter. She's been literally poor, like, actually. She had no home, in a shelter. It was really struggling, you guys. Um, Things were hard. And then now she has 78K. She made something for herself. So as you see, she doesn't have a career. And she's a painter. So she's self-employed. And she makes a lot of money from it. You know, like, she's made most of this money herself. And she's done a great job at it. So she made something for herself. She wanted to raise her kids and be a good mommy. And, you know, I feel like Kinsley takes after her mom a lot for that. She has, like, a lot of respect for her mom. See, and then I feel like Zaylee is old enough now to, like, know all the family history and know what went on and things. And, like, how much, like, Zaylee knows how much her mom respects her mom. And stuff like that. And it, like, makes Zaylee appreciate her mom. Because she's like, you did the same for me. Da-da-da. You know? Like, because she went through, like, a similar situation. Um, Yaz, Jax didn't cheat. Maybe he did. Who knows? You don't, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> but he was never there. So, it's, like, the same situation. So, like, even though Riley and Kinsley went through, oh, <laughs> went through different situations. Like, the situations were different with the dads. It was still two very sad situations with the fathers and i so i don't know i just feel like zaylee knows to like respect and appreciate her mom so much that like she doesn't want to leave her she doesn't want to be away from her and live with Jax. you know um i feel like i don't know i feel like zaylee would be crazy to do that <laughs> um so yeah um, however, I do think, like, things could happen with Jax, like, as in, like, him kind of being a dummy and, like, trying to get custody over her because, like, something happened and, like, he's mad at Kinsley and, like, he's like, I want my daughter with me, even though, like, he's not going to even be responsible for her at all. Um, I don't think he'd win that. I really don't think he'd ever get custody of her, but, like, you know, lots of possibilities can happen with that. I just don't think Zaley herself would want to live with her dad. I don't think she has any interest in that at all. So, yeah, she's making herself happy with this little kitty, and we already have, like, pet bowls and stuff, so that's perfect. Do we still have a litter box here? Because I know we did. Yes, we do. Perfect. Um, that is good. That is great. I kind of want to get one for downstairs, too, though because, you know, poor little kitty. Um, we have, like, what is all this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, clean up. And clean up. So, she's gonna do that. And we still have the, guys, this is sad. <laughs> no. Oh my god, we still have these presents out. Let's sell that, because that's sad. Um, Leo was here at that time. Um, but I think this kitty is helping, like, comfort her, so that's good. Yeah. Aww. Um. Whoa, look at- Whoa! 
Weren't you a kitten? You already grew up? What? Whoa. Look how cute this cat is. Like, I... C can we... Wait. Okay, wait. I want to zoom in on this cat's face. <laughs> Look at this cat. Okay. What? Do you see the eyes? They are, like, so blue. Whoa. Like, whoa. <laughs> Alright. I am being crazy. It's just a really beautiful cat, okay? Like, oh my gosh. Um... So yeah, she's going to clean up, and then I think we're going to switch to Adeline, because you know, she got a little taut now and stuff. We got to check up on her. Okay, we got another litter box. Good, good. And we are going to go ahead and switch over to Adeline's household. Okay, you guys. So, as you guys know, Adeline was over here, but we're probably going to have her go home. Um, I mean, we're going to hug them all, though, because like everyone is like grieving. Hug lovingly. Oh, don't cry. Why don't you know the tot? Okay, get you best be meeting Rowan. <laughs> Do you know the dog? Okay, meet the dog too. Okay, so she's not getting to meet the dog because the dog went to sleep. Uh, it's okay. Go hug your sister now. She's been talking to them for a little. She did meet Rowan, so that is good. And we need to um we need to hug. All right, so they're gonna hug, and then Adeline is going to head home. You know, she has a little family now, too, so she's going to head home, and hopefully everyone's okay. Oh, they're hugging twice. Oh, she's going to eat some cake because she's so sad, and just cake sounds great to her right now. Aw. So, let's go ahead and head home. Look at her big fam bam. <laughs> Mostly pets, but you know. All right, so she's going to head home and see how everyone's doing. Hopefully, the toddler is doing okay. By the way, you guys... I'm doing the toddler's room renovation off camera between series. I don't know if I said, I, I think I said I was going to have it done in the next episode, but we are not because <laughs> I want to take some time on it and then you guys can see what it looks like in the new series because I'm pretty sure uh, he should still be a toddler in the new series because like, well, let me check like how old he is, um, but I think he should be. Let's see. Um... Yeah, I think he should be because I also may, like, um, I may stop aging for a little while when I'm playing off camera so that we don't, like, I don't go too much ahead of time. You know what I mean? Um, so you guys don't, like, miss a bunch of their life or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> um, some of you guys said you liked this whole layout, so that's good. Um, I think I like it too. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, I, we'll see. I'm gonna see when I act. See, this is what I mean. Like, I want to think it out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't want to rush any floor plan idea. Where are you, little tot? Um, you can actually grab yourself a brownie. So let's see. Oh my God, what's wrong with all the cats? <gasps> what is wrong with all the cats? Are you guys sick? We need to get some wellness treats stat. <laughs> Seriously. Oh uh, wait, we need to go to the vet for that. Ugh. Wait, is it just you? Okay, I'm gonna have her go to the vet. We have to do all sorts of things for this finale. So much is going on. I hope the vet is not like broken because sometimes that happens. Honestly, getting the wellness treat though is so much easier because the vet takes forever. I like having the whole experience sometimes, but not at this time of night. Definitely not. Okay, we are back home and now we can give little princess a vet treat. Wellness, there we go. The other kitties seem to be fine. I can't believe well, like, we don't even have kittens anymore. Like, wow. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm like, you're hairless. Like, how adorable. Then we have Bubbles eating the brownies. Like, hi. Um, we're just gonna let her do it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put them away, but like, okay, yeah, 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 go put them away. Uh, why can't I put you away? Is it because you're eating them? Okay, fine, lecture. Oh, wait, what's wrong with you? You're like my favorite because I just love how you look. Like, look at, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> Derpy in the cutest way ever. Um, okay, you need to go to sleep soon, but let's have some bonding with daddy. It's literally 2.30 in the morning. What are we doing with our life? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Aww. 
Okay, you can go put him to bed, actually. Oh, wait, I don't know if it's going to let us because the bed's up against the wall, and that happens sometimes, so let's just stick it there. I'm actually super excited to redo his room. Okay, you guys, so we're going to create some because as I was just playing with them right there, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't change his name yet, so we need to do that. Um, So I've already picked out a name. I saw the name more than once, so I thought we should go with it, and it still started with an H, so I thought it was perfect. Um, So usually, if I'm, like, having trouble figuring out what name we should choose because you guys have so many good names basically i just like we'll try to figure out like if i see a name that keeps being suggested suggested multiple times i'm like okay a lot of people like that one let's go with it so i kept seeing hudson so we we're gonna go with that my cousin's dog is actually named hudson so i mean that's adorable it just makes me think of her adorable dog so <laughs> hudson stone it actually goes pretty well i think it suits him and oh i love him so much oh my god cat is in mid jump <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool oh my gosh okay flying all right so oh and your hair is now the wrong color wait is it like that for all the outfits do i really need to go back and create a sim right now wow are you kidding me oh my gosh are you actually kidding this hair color is actually pretty cute on him but obviously we ain't gonna do that so let me fix that why does this happen with like toddlers all the time when is that going to be fixed is it fixed in any of your guys's game because it's been happening to me for eons and sometimes it happens with toddlers um in my game and then sometimes it doesn't happen with them ever like it just kind of depends but i remember this happening in season one of single mom life in the very beginning why is it still happening that was like how long ago was that? Over a year? <laughs> oh my god. It's like always been a problem. I don't know. Uh, I know it's not a problem with every toddler, but still. It happens sometimes and I don't know why. Um, it's crazy. I don't get it. it. Are you fixed? Are you... Okay, we're, we're situated. So, let's go to bed. Put Hudson to bed. Oh, I love that name for him. It's so cute. Um, oh, we, we're, we're wanting to mate up in here. Um, we have a puddle. Let's mock that up. Uh, you're a little bit hungry, so go eat something. Uh, you need to get into your everyday wear. So there we go. And guys, I think we're coming to an end. Oh my god, look at this. Hydra Puggle. It's so cute. Oh my god. Wait, can you just come over here and sell it for him? Oh, I love that. I mean, we should keep it, but no, we need the money. <laughs> there we go okay you guys so that is the end of the finale like oh my god okay so much happened uh a marriage happened leo died which i'm really sad look at her face oh poor baby girl i literally like actually feel so bad like why 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 did he die in the finale? I mean, at least you guys know then that he passed away, but still. Um, Riley's still alive. I hope she's still alive for the new series, you guys. That's why, like, I might want to kind of stop aging a little bit. Um, not, like, for the whole time I play off camera because I want them to grow up a bit. But, like, guys, I don't know if Riley will be alive or not in the new series. I hope so. At least for a little bit. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> yeah, you guys, if you would like to play with this family, like, in the meantime, because obviously, like, let's please take a while to plan out. And then I have a bunch of other things going on, too. So, if you guys... um I've been watching this from the beginning and you're gonna really miss them or anything like that then i'll go ahead and put them on the gallery slowly like family by family so keep an eye out for that um yeah so uh then if you want to play with them then you can't <laughs> but yeah this has been so much fun you guys oh my goodness can we just like go back to season one episode one? Oh my god the memories the memories so many memories oh my goodness so, sometimes i see some of you guys go back and like comment on the first season saying you're rewatching. i love that you guys are awesome because <laughs> the series has been going on for so long so like obviously a lot of people aren't watching from the beginning so when i see that you are i'm just like oh oh you real fanticorn fam but anyways you guys thank you so much for supporting me through this series and giving me story suggestions and loving the sims and everything like that it's been amazing this family has grown so much i'm so proud of them oh my gosh i'm going to miss
miss them in this time. <laughs> but even though it's funny I say that because like I'm going to play with them off camera and get them ready for a new series, but I don't know. I'm still just going to miss them because it's like different when I'm recording them and like you guys leave suggestions and we just like all it's like we're playing together even though we're not I don't know <laughs> so anyways you guys thank you guys again for all the support I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this here so um yeah oh uh, <laughs> yeah we're, we're gonna I'm, I'm kind of sad I'm kind of like uh dragging this out I really am it's a sad moment but I, yeah I should go <laughs> so you guys thank you so so much for watching and I hope you all are having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below I love you guys all so so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys and I can promise Santa's coming to visit no he wouldn't miss this in Christmas